Hey everyone, I'm Jason Portwondo. Really looking forward to the start of the 2021 Thoroughbred season at Woodbine and all of those great grass groupings on the E.P. Taylor. Hey, speaking of which, it was supposed to have been Connaught Cup weekend, which has inspired me to give you my top five fabulous finishes in that race since the start of the new millennium. Our look back begins in 2014. Something Extra was seeking an unprecedented third win in this race for trainer Gail Cox and rider Eurico Rosa da Silva. Apparently, X Caper didn't get that memo. In the end, he was the one opening his stakes account under jockey Justin Stein. Far outside, here comes left track. X Caper guts it out to win the Canon Cup. Number four on the countdown takes us back to 2004 when the race was still contested at a mile and a 16th. The season opening turf stakes event highlighted by four to five favorite Shoalwater. Samson Farm is looking for a record third straight in the race. Uh, jockey Jim McElhinney though had other plans as Slough Valley was the one who became just the third seven year old ever to hoist the cup. They're running out of ground, Slough Valley on the outside, the safety of the safe, Slough Valley. The 2009 edition of the Connaught broke a 14 year old course record and in the process delivered a fabulous finish decided by less than a nose. Reigning turf champ Rahi's attorney looked like he was home. But on the outside, here comes that gray blur by the name of Sterwins and Patrick Husbands. Talk about a big time stretch blast to grab Rahi's attorney right on the money and take our three spot. And it's Sterwins and Rahi's attorney to settle the Canon Cup. Which one will it be? Bobby Harris, who won it? Coming in at number two, the horse that still holds the seven furlong stakes record. Roger Atfield's Tower of Texas went nearly two years in between victories, the 2015 King Edward and then the 2017 Canuck nice. Cup. The son of Street Sense might be small in stature, but he's got a huge heart. Rider Eurico Da Silva can definitely attest. Tower of Texas and Calgary Cat and Commute, and they come down to the wire. Three of them go to the line. Tower of Texas in the center. Our top spot highlights the 2006 Connaught Cup where the favorite found himself in the middle of an all-out battle to the wire. Remarkable news going head-to-head -head with the defending champion Lesenki Messe and two others. After the race, rider Javier Castellano saying, and I quote, at the top of the stretch, I was scared. Here's a look back at our number one finish. This is going to be close. Remarkable news, Lesenki Messe, Sky Conqueror in a three-horse photo. Hope you've enjoyed my top five Canuck Cup finishes. Uh, hopefully we can add to it June 27th. Fingers crossed. I'm Jason Portwine.